Hey everybody, how's life treating ya? I'm Russ Robo and welcome to the Tournament of Robotic Champions Season 2 Robot Arena 2 DSL Mod Tournament Lightweight Preliminaries Round 1. We've been waiting for this one for a while now and it's finally here and these robots are ready for some robotic destruction. In our first round we've got Red Zone Scout versus Team Prehistorics Roly Poly. In our second round we've got uh, Team Good Old Boys Hammerhead Shark versus Team Dragons Ninja Assassin. Team Blackstorms Bot 205 versus Team Sparks Broke. Team Spikeheads Raving Mad versus Team North Polar's Tip of the Iceberg. These matches are um, repeats of last season's matches, but these bots have been given upgrades since the last time you saw them, so there may be some upsets, not entirely indicative of what happened last season so let's see what these matches have in store for us and without further ado let's get down to some robotic destruction in season two of the tournament of robotic champions I already did the arena introduction in the uh, earlier part of the video so I hope that all spliced it together well uh, we're just gonna do it live right here right now <laughs> Okay, so in our first match, I've got our uh, tournament roster written up right here, in case you want to see it. Look at how fancy that is. I, I love the bracket system. If you ever want to use it, like if you ever want to try doing this yourself, just get a ruler and a good number two pencil and write yourself a bracket. That's exactly how I do it. It takes a little bit, but I, I prefer it to, the, um, to any sort of digital method. I don't know why, it just, I guess I'm old school like that. Let's start out with our first match, Scout. Oh, and I also, um, the last tournament, I wanted to remind myself that the teams are important too. I need to tell which teams each bot is on instead of just, oh, this bot versus that bot. This is Team Red Zone's Scout versus Team Prehistoric's Roly Poly. And you'll notice that that's pretty much almost exactly the same, that it is exactly the same from last season, but there's a slight difference. The thing I love about doing the DSL 2.2 mod tournament is that each bot from each team of the original teams has been upgraded. They've added new lightweight, middleweight, and heavyweights, and each of the originals have been upgraded, so it could be a totally new different type of tournament, at least for this channel. On other channels, they've probably done it, done it dozens and dozens and dozens of ch times, but, you know, I don't care about that because this is my own original spin on things. And I've already narrowed down the list of bots available to just lightweights. Um, if you're doing that, you go here and you press, uh, you can select light, medium, or heavy, or apparently there's this, oh, that's all. That, that just allows everybody. And I love that because it's like, I don't even know if that was available in the last game. The lightweights will be fighting in the parking lot arena. Uh, I just like the way... It's got lots of space, um, there's good traps for lightweights that can damage them but won't knock them completely out, and there is ring outs available, but you'd have to be just the god of flippers to get a bot all the way over that cinder block wall. There's an easier flip area over, I think, I I'm rambling, I'm rambling, let's let's get on with it. Alright, see, see, um, Scout has actually had an upgrade since last we saw him, so let's see how he fares against Roly Poly this time. Can Roly Poly pull it off? Let's find out. Okay. Gosh, that's loud. Let's do it! Man, Roly Poly comes up with a strong attack from the very start. Looks like Scout's uh, looking to control this match. I'm going to turn that volume down so I can actually hear. Scout's got Roly Poly pinned up against the cinder block wall. If he doesn't let him out soon, it's going to start a countdown. Oh. I'm gonna turn my can Oh no, he's he's letting him get counted out, but it looks like Roly Poly is only partially invertible. He scooched himself just al uh, along the wall just enough to not get counted out. Scout's definitely controlling this match just like in last season. Roly Poly better watch out. It looks like Scout's trying to move him towards the cinder blocks. They're gonna come down any second now. And there's the cinder blocks. Ooh, and it looks like it dealt more damage to Scout than Roly Poly in that one. Roly Poly can manage to get uh, onto his right side, uh, right side up instead of upside down. He can deal some serious damage, and there he goes. He's right side up now. 
He's going to try to get away from Scout and get some distance for some ramming speed. I need to press the tab over here to turn my uh, camera off so I can see what the points are at. Looks like Roly Poly's actually doing pretty good. He's up to 2,500 and... Oh, 2,700... 3,000! Oh man, he's racking up points like crazy! Roly Poly's racking up points. Scout's uh, only at 10 points now, but definitely with, a, definitely with the control in this here match. Flipping all over the place. He's right side up. He's upside down. He's right side up. He's upside down. <laughs> with a minute and 21 seconds left in the match, Roly Poly is dominating in points with over nine. With all the bleh, with over 4,928, almost 5,000 points. Scout's looking pretty rough at 31 points. He's dominating the control of the match. But it looks like he's in alert mode. Uh, he's taking a lot of battery damage. That's what that is. Taking a lot of chassis damage. Oh, and his CPU was exposed. He gets the not. He gets knocked out. Roly Poly takes home the win with over 5,864 points. Woo! That's a good match. Okay. So I'll take just a second to get that written down, and then we'll be back with our next match. Okay, and we're back. And this match is going to be the good old boys Hammerhead Shark right here. Oh, that's right. I'm hiding my cursor this uh, season. The good old boys Hammerhead Shark versus Team Dragon's Ninja Assassin. So, without further ado, let's get it started. I want a good, clean fight. Let's get it on. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Celebrity Deathmatch way back in the old days. Oh man, we've got Hammerhead Shark doing massive amounts of damage. Whoa, that was over so fast. What? Ninja Assassin with the ridiculous drum spinner right there. Dealing so much damage to Hammerhead Shark. And he was accumulating points so fast. He had over 5,000, but uh, Ninja Assassin just racking it up with 6,452 right there. I'm going to get that written down real quick and we'll be right back. All right, and we're back, and in this round, we've got Team Blackstorm's Bot 205 versus Team Sparks Broke. <laughs> and I love what they did with the names. Last season in the original of the uh, Robot Arena 2, um, just the vanilla, vanilla version of the game, the bot's name here was Jackpot, and now he's broke. <laughs> Get it? You go to a, con a, a casino and you... Uh, I'm terrible. I'm terrible. And also, I noticed that the last one um, wasn't just Ninja. It was Ninja Assassin. And I guess uh, Bot 204. Uh, I have my original notes around here somewhere. He was he was probably Bot 204 in the last tournament. Now he's Bot 205. But without further ado, let's get it on. All right, this proves to be a promising match. I hope. Bot 205 with a devastating razor blade type weapon. Uh, Broke looking like he's racking up some serious points, but Bot 205 definitely way ahead in the lead with over 4,000 already. That spinner is moving so fast. He's even controlling the match. He's got control. He, he's got control points and damage points. Whoa! And the control board destroyed on Broke. These matches, man, they're quick with these uh, speedy lightweights. Okay, so Bot 205 is in, Broke is out. Let me get that written down real quick and we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. And in this match, we've got Team Spikehead's Raving Mad versus North Polar's Tip of the Iceberg. And I just realized I didn't even have to look at my notes. Their names are written, you know, right. The team, Their names and the team names are written right below the bots. So without further ado, let's get it on. All right, we've got Raven Mad coming in there with a strong strike right from the very beginning. But it looks like Tip of the Iceberg has a much more powerful weapon this season. Uh, looks like, oh, he's already taken off part of Raven Mad's main weaponry with that devastating hammer claw right there. Even the shovel is the size of uh, the heavyweight versions from last season, but he still qualifies as a lightweight. He's getting on a lot of strong strikes with over 6,000 points already. And it looks like Raven Mad's lost all of his weaponry now. His chassis is completely caved. He's just a tiny little bot with no hope. Control board eliminated on him, and North Polar's tip of the iceberg takes it home with over 6,442 points. Woo! So, North Polar's is in, Spikeheads is out. Well, everyone, that was the 
Woo! Season 2 Tournament of Robotic Champions. Lightweight uh, preliminaries round 1. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to subscribe for updates on future content. Leave any helpful comments you might have in the comment section below. Oh, likes are always appreciated. Until next time, take it easy, my friends.